We're talking about a problem that existed in the area for over 20 years that had not been addressed. August of uh, last year, we had a tremendous flooding, uh, and it was necessitated having the, the proper equipment to, to mitigate the, the flooding because we had uh, homes and businesses that were flooded out. Uh, the court authorized uh, to purchase these uh, four new pieces of equipment for us to combat during stormwater events. Uh, we're very excited to have this opportunity. As you can see, these are, are great vehicles that we have. Uh, these trucks are uh, great um, equipment that we could use. It'll help us uh, reduce some of the, uh, the flooding and some of the ponding that we have that occurs in the county. We purchased four of the VAC trucks, uh, which are capable, one truck is capable of sucking uh, um, up uh, I believe 800 gallons of uh, water per minute. Uh, that would have been a tremendous asset had we had those then because the Donovan area was, was flooded tremendously. Uh, one of the great things of this truck is that uh, basically we're able to do a lot of the, uh, the work from inside the actual cab. Uh, before we used to have to take uh, the hose off and uh, you know, send in the middle of the water and suck up the water. Uh, with this uh, new equipment, we're able to direct it either via remote or from the cab. We just lower the boom into the, uh, the ponding area and we're able to uh, extract the water that way. Uh, you know, these uh, pieces of equipment are, are a great first step that we have and looking forward for new uh, opportunities in the future. Stay tuned. We have good things coming to El Paso County, particularly the Northwest region.